Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Stellaris and it looks different, but that's because it's heavily modded. Uh, this is sort of a package of multiple mods that Deckcore 12B has been putting together and also adding to on his own. And it's a really great, uh, really great compilation, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, this is on the Steam Workshop right now. You can play it right now. All you have to do is upgrade to the latest Bradbury beta, uh, install the mod, and there are several, um, what's the word for it? They're not necessarily required, but there, there are several, um, god damn it, what's the word? Recommended. Recommended, uh, mods that go with it. With the exception of an Imperial Ship mod by somebody that starts with an E, a very prolific Star Wars modder. Let's see if I can bring it up here in my subscribed items. One second. Uh, the Star Wars Empire Ships by... Doesn't tell me in the, in the text. It's by El Roddy. Yeah, that's the one. So you need that one for sure to play this because you're using his ship pack in the uh, Galactic Empire mod. And yeah, I haven't had a lot of time with this mod yet. I have started a couple games just to make sure everything works, make sure everything's good. And it is really good and it all works and I'm very excited. So we're going to have to pick the Galactic Empire down here. If we pick anything else, we won't be able to build the, the Empire ships. But, we can take a look at the Empire and its stuff. And I'm pretty sure you can edit all this stuff and still play as like a different nation or whatever. Let me get this flashing stuff off my screen that's distracting me. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm totally happy to just play as this, this uh, Empire. So we have Imperial Resolve, which is going to give us a little bit less unrest and a little governing ethics attraction. And then we got the Imperial Navy, which gives us plus 8% fire rate, which is amazing. And minus 10% ship upkeep, which is also amazing. Really happy about that one. We are fanatic militarists, authoritarian, conformists, repugnant, and natural engineers. So, yeah, all good. It says that we start with red lasers, but we get turbo laser tech right off the bat. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. Uh, hyperspace travel, obviously. We're playing Star Wars here. Um, and then it's the Sidious ship packs, I guess? I don't know how any of that works. That's all the mod stuff. Um, and then we get a bit of flavor text here. So we have, you know, under details, the seat of the Imperial government is the heart of the Galactic Empire, and then the background is the Galactic Empire is a constitutional monarchy and imperialist governments that replace the Galactic Republic in the aftermath after the Clone Wars. Rising to the... Rising to... Shit, I lost my place. Uh, <laughs> Rising to power in the final years of the Republic, Emperor Palpatine, then the last Supreme Chancellor of the Republic, would gradually usurp senatorial powers until the Sith were restored to a position of dominance. And... Now I need to find my place again. Uh, without the Jedi Guardians to oppose him, Palpatine brought to an end the a thousand years of democracy, and in his place he installed the absolute rule of himself as the Galactic Emperor. So yeah, a little flavor text and stuff, and it's it's greatly appreciated. As you can see, there's some cool like background portraits for your diplomacy and stuff, and we have Sheev Palpatine here, the Darth Sidious himself, and I think that's about it. Mm, I don't I don't remember anything else to mention right now. So we're gonna start a new game: Thousand Stars, Four Spar Four Arm Spiral Galaxy, Fifteen AI Empires, all of this default basically. Um, we're not going to play Iron Man because I'm not sure how long the mod will hold out, if things will break or whatnot. I'd like to have this A for, to be able to go back to, basically. Just in case something happens and I need to debug it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And as you can see, there are a bunch of really nice loading screens. The entire mod is really well put together. I'm extremely happy with everything that I've seen so far. So here's a little um, beginning text here. After many years of crossing dark space, seemingly trapped in the void between two galaxies, we have arrived in our new home. 
Our empire crumbled during the Battle of Yavin. The heinous despicable acts destroyed the majority of the Imperial fleet, the Death Star II, and led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of brave Imperial troops. Unbeknownst to the rebels, however, our Emperor survived the Death Star's destruction. Retreating aboard what remained of our combined fleet, we began our journey here, to this distant galaxy. There is a dream that was the Galactic Empire, and it shall be realized. We're going to go ahead and begin. And as you can see, we start with a couple techs here. First one is blaster technology, which allows us to use turbo lasers. Uh, yeah, I don't need that just yet. And then we can pick the color of turbo laser we want. We're the Empire, we're going to use green. That's the way it works. And then this doesn't give us, you know, the Super Star Destroyers and battleships and whatnot. It just allows us to unlock them later on. And then it does unlock this. I don't, I don't know what this is, though. DBY827 HDTL. Maybe that's something deep in Star Wars lore that I've just missed. But if anybody knows, please let me know. I'll probably find it at some point during the game. We can close that. Yeah, text researched. We can take our science ship here and get started exploring our own system. And then we want to look at tech. So, for physics, we got global energy management, quantum theory, orbital trade conversion. I think we probably want the uh, solar panel networks here. I think those are going to be the most useful, at least in the early game. Uh... Heritage Site, Biolab, or Army Upkeep. I think we're going to go with the Heritage Site. And then we got Powered Exoskeletons. We're going to go with that one. That's an easy choice. So we are kind of on the edge of the galaxy here. We've got our own little nook. And I think what we want to do is we want to take our task force. And kind of explore all the stars around us. We go out this way. And if you listen really closely, I'll, I'll shut up in a second. You can hear that there are some custom sounds that actually... Um, they change the squelches. I don't know what the actual word for it is. I just always call them squelches. Whenever you, you know, tell a unit to do something or select a unit, they'll talk. So, if... Well, I already have them selected. You can hear that. Comlink active. active and whatnot. And then when you tell them to go somewhere... So, it may be a little quiet because, you know, I turned down the game audio, so I'm not trying to fight over the game, but uh, I really enjoy the the sound that they've done in this. Um, there is obviously going to be a huge music pack that comes with this mod that is all Star Wars stuff, and I can't play it because it is all copywritten and it will just destroy my channel. Uh, crap, that's not what I wanted. Whatever. We're going to miss a star. We're just going to go through all of this stuff. And then come home. Kind of just going to look around here. Hopefully we'll run into our neighbors. And if not, well, then we have plenty of space to expand in the first place. We got a new heir. I don't know if Palpatine can die. I don't know if he's immortal or not. I kind of hope that he is. But if he does die, we'll have Chancellor Zena here and his agenda is slave optimizations slave resource output plus 10 percent i actually don't know what that means exactly does that mean that i just need like 10 percent more slaves or does that mean that i need to do something to increase the slave output either way what is what's happening here we're losing energy? Centralized economy. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, we'll go over that in a minute. Um, I think first thing I want to do is open up this food tile. And then we'll go for the mineral tile. And then we can go for the energy. I'm not going to worry about the science just yet. And yeah, that should be good enough for a little while here. We also want to build a farm. In fact, I don't think we want to build the farm there. We want to move this person here and build the farm here. It's going to give us a little bit of an edge in the beginning. Not much, but it's something. We've surveyed our own system, so we're going to take our science ship. We're going to survey all the rest of the systems within our borders. 
See if there's anything that we want to build. Oh, we only have three systems. That sucks. Uh, but we're going to see if we have any more, you know, space installations that we can build. As our ships go around and look for aliens. We found an anomaly. It's 20% chance. I'll go for it. Why not? Generally, if it's 20% or less, I'll just do the anomaly there. Otherwise, I can always skill up my scientists. One other thing that I forgot to do is I want to assign an admiral here. Uh, yeah, let's pause, please. Do we finish construction queue on Coruscant? That's not very important, just minor stuff. Uh, we found a debris field with that anomaly. A strong gravity well of Medigar 4 was pulled has pulled in a massive amount of space debris, which has formed a dense layer around the parts of the gas giant. Most of it appears to be wreckage from a series of space battles fought in the system near a millennia ago. Scavengers have already scoured the debris of valuable technologies and artifacts. The mining station should be able to recycle all the metal. A mining station. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we, we found some extra minerals, which is very good. That's very helpful in the early game. We're recruiting the firepower person. All right, research that. Cool, cool. Firepower person. Gonna use them on our fleet. I'm gonna stack that firepower as much as possible. Or, uh, not firepower, fire rate. Sorry. Um, and that should help us quite a bit. We've discovered an abandoned solar sail ship around Medigar 6 this time. Roman numerals are hard for me sometimes. I don't, I don't know why. It's a very simple system, but I just seeing them freaks me out sometimes. Um, the sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear, which can be some kind of massive object, blah, blah, blah. It got busted up by a meteoroid. It's outdated, but there's some engineering design choices that are very interesting. We get a little bit of engineering. Pretty common event in my experience. So it looks like we're not running into aliens, which is very surprising for how far we've gone so far. Okay, we have an encounter now. Maybe that... Maybe I already found an encounter. These are crystals. They look like crystals. No, I haven't encountered anything because I don't see any hostile... Hostile tags anywhere. Alright, well we'll continue. I would like to find our nearest neighbor as soon as possible. I want to be able to size them up and, you know, uh, vassalize or incorporate them into our, our empire as soon as possible. We could take influence or... Let's do the Habitable World Survey. I'm going to go for the Discovery Traditions. And as a result, I'm going to survey a lot of stuff and I'll be able to easily do the Habitable World Survey. Admiral gains a trait following the recent sensor sweep of the pen Pentosa system. Admiral Turi Dashan has learned a new learned how to deploy her units to maximize her sensor range. A few fleet commanders possess a skill to carry out such complex maneuvers. So she got scout, extra sensor range, and sublight speed, which is actually really good. Sublight speed is great when you're trying to catch little fleets here and there. Hmm. Okay. So, this is probably a good time to go into these. There are new policies. Just to give kind of an overview of what this mod gives you. Not only does it give you the beautiful portraits and the Imperial Signa Signia instead of stars for skills. It also gives you all of the ships, obviously. It gives you... Ground forces, yeah, research the anomaly. Let's open up Coruscant here. We can do garrison troopers, stormtroopers, marine troopers, recon troopers, SO trooper battalions. I'm not sure what SO stands for. Special operations, okay, okay. Uh, the Imperial Royal Guard and mobile assault brigades, which is, you know, mechanized infantry kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, there's all of that. I don't know if there are different attachments. I haven't really tried... Yeah, there are definitely different attachments, which is awesome. You can attach the 501st Legion. Interesting. Is there like only one of this? I feel like there should be only one of that. 
But yeah, you can do, you know, ATAT -AT attachments or ATST attachments, or you want some TIE bombers given your, you know, air support, that kind of stuff. Pretty amazing. I love it. Um, there are policies and edicts that are specific to this mod. We've got the Imperial High Command, we've got the Imperial Office of Commerce, uh, the Diplomatic Corps, and the Security Bureau. These all are basically trade-offs between, you know, here's weapon damage, fire rate versus hull points and shield hit points. We've got centralized economy, and I think... No, no, no. Okay, this one is uh, positive, negative. Some of these I thought were asymmetrical trade-offs. Monthly unity. No, I think they are all symmetrical. So you think you can get positives or negatives from these things? No. Centralized economy and see, you get negative monthly unity, materialist ethics attraction for laissez faire. Yeah, you get food, building costs. So they are a little different. They give you different buffs and, you know, debuffs as a result of what you're trying to do exactly. And I should probably change these things. Uh, leader capacity, rivalry, influence gain, leader recruitment cost. I think I want this to be balanced right now. Yeah. I don't need the extra leader slots right now, but in the future I might. Mm. Energy credits and minerals is really tempting. Over food and building costs, though. I think we'll stick as is for now, but very soon we're going to switch this over to laissez-faire economy. Even if it does cost us a little unity, that's not a big problem. And then we've got fire damage and rate versus hull points. I think I'm happy to stack the fire rate as much as possible. I think that's going to be the proper, the, uh, the right decision in the long run. We can go ahead and unpause here. Uh, there's obviously new techs because of this. There are, I think, different... Well, let's go ahead and investigate them. Why not? I think there are different events that we can, you know, go through. Event chains and whatnot. But I, am again, haven't played that much, so I don't know for sure. There's obviously the little, you know, super, the Star Destroyers in the backgrounds of our, your event dialogue boxes. Someone used a mining laser. Somebody wrote a... Story chronicling the difficult life in, of an alien mercenary a long time ago. We get a little society output from that planet. Um, and then obviously all of this stuff. Budget, demographics. I'm trying to think what else we get. Oh yeah, there are different weapons. Of course, the turbo lasers, which we should change over immediately. The turbo lasers are almost better in every way. We have an encounter. Let's check in on this. What do we have here? Space cows. Not important. All right. Uh, we can pick a tradition. We're going to adopt discovery right away here. Gamma aliens. More. No. What is this? Oh, are these mining drones? They look like mining drones. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, these are the mining drones. Oh. I am totally screwing up. Yeah, those are absolutely mining drones. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, we've surveyed more systems. Our science ship is bored now. What systems should we survey? Probably this one. We're going to get that one soon. Then that one, and that one, and go ahead and survey that one too. That's a good idea. I'm trying not to survey everything right away because I want to get at least the first discovery perk. The traditions here. I want to at least get the possible 15% chance to get more anomalies. Got space amoebas. Um, yeah, we're going to kill those. And then planetary survey core, which is... Uh, you gain research points from surveying planets, which I really, really like. Uh, tech researched. We've got powered exoskeletons. The next obvious choice is spaceport level 2. We're going to do that. It's going to give us a little extra fleet power, and then it's also heading us down towards destroyers, which would 
give us a military advantage against our enemies in the galaxy. Leaders gained a level. And then what else was I... Oh yeah, I was looking for interesting new things because of the mod. I'm assuming that there will probably be some new factions. While we command our task force... Task Force Ozzel? Oh, it is Task Force Ozzel. Okay. Admiral Turi Dushan has learned of to carefully nurse her supplies. Okay, she's getting all kinds of traits. Cool. I like it. She's turning into a great leader already. We haven't even done anything with her. We found somebody in a, another system. Oh, that looks like a science ship. Yeah, that's definitely a science ship. Let's go ahead and investigate them, and then we'll do the rest of these things. And... Yeah, we can close that. I understand that we surveyed the system. It looks like there's going to be another empire somewhere around here. Yep, right here. Alright. Perfect. They should be easy to pick off, then. We have a nice... Um, Nice funnel here. We don't have to worry too much about them going all the way around. If they do, it'll take way too long for them to respond if we attack them. We research solar panel networks. We can look at... Well, ship-sized weapons is part of the turbo laser research chain, so I think we should probably go with that one. Plus it gives us 5% energy credits, which is great. On the shoulders of giants, it appears that the asteroid TD-1-63 and the surrounding debris originates from an, a former planet. Deep within the center of the asteroid, we can find traces of extremely valuable minerals. There is also hints of bacterial life that has been has died in the vacuum of space. This shows us that the celestial body once bore the promise of life. Amazing. Where is this? Oh, okay. Well, the minerals is going to be good. There's a little bit of energy in there. We should probably take our construction ship and start building mining stations after successfully... Okay. We found the Snake Face Star, Star Imperium. Sorry, my, uh, my throat's a little bit off right now. I haven't been talking that much this morning, so still warming up a bit. Um, So you're going to have to respect our authority or else, even though you are... Somebody that I have created in the past. We've got our first alien encounter and all the flavor text. I want the construction ship to build energy credits first. Because we are a little low on those. But once you have the energy credits, we'll go ahead and do the rest of the mineral stuff. On course on itself, we should probably build... Oh, yes. The centralized economy is hurting our credits. That was part of Office of Commerce for food and building costs. That's right. Um, yeah, we'll leave it for now, but I'm not very happy about that. Our task force is back at home. We could risk taking them out one more time. Maybe go around this little loop. I think for now we're good. I think we want to dock them up. And, uh... Can't upgrade them, huh? Did I not change the ship design? Save it? Overwrite design? Maybe? There we go. I just didn't save it. My bad. Uh, we've completed the stuff. Everything is happening all at once. We're going to research that. Ancient mining drones. Uh, reports of deep space drones of certain systems, blah, blah, blah. We already kind of saw them. So we know exactly where they are. Um, mining drone observation, or we try to take them apart. I think listening in on them gave us like a super rich mineral planet before, but I don't know if the event has changed at all. 
we're just going to do this like the Empire would, and we're going to destroy them at some point in the future. Not right now, obviously. Uh, let's build the rest of the mining stations here. Close that. You're still busy. Fender bender. While the crater in question was most likely a result of a regular meteorite and impact, complex pat patterns resulting in depression originate at a later time. Hmm. Science offer officer argues that the patterns are not the result of an impact, but a collision. One between asteroid Dumbele-23-238 and some unspecified orbital installation or ship of alien make. Okay. Somebody was a little uh, uncareful and ran into an asteroid, apparently. And... Yes, I was looking at this. I want to... We already have somebody here. I want to build a power plant. Let's swap those. And we can build a farm down here. These pops have modifiers. Happiness minus 10%. Because you were a slave. Alright, that's fine. Research that, sure. We've figured out the Tinyaki. So let's look at you. They are superior in fleet power because I haven't really built any fleets. I should get on that. Let's go ahead and queue up a bunch right now. Terraforming candidate discovered. Our detailed survey of Braham 3A discovered that it may have once supported life on the, in its distance past. There are significant deposits of frozen water and polar ice caps beneath the moon's surface. The existence of valley networks suggests that the water may have once flowed freely. Terraforming this moon would theoretically be possible, but we do not yet possess the technology to accomplish this monumental task. And this is here, which isn't that far out of our reach. We may come back to do that. Very interesting. Well, that's kind of like a Mars thing, where, like, something happened, it lost its atmosphere, all the water froze, and it's kind of a dead planet now, but it's within reach of terraforming. Okay. First League. We'll read that in a second. Uh, do we want growth speed or naval capacity? Biopath, admin path, admin path. What's the admin path for? Capital buildings and influence gain. Interesting. Um, kind of want to get the naval capacity right off the bat here. Yeah, let's do that one first. We'll probably get the other two very soon after. And then the first leak here. We have discovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization civilization in Holdebana 1. If what we have learned from these artifacts is correct, the civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League, and it appears to have coexisted in relative peace for two million years ago. Some two million years ago. Uh, through the Holdebana system lies, though the Holdebana system lies in a region of space that seems to be made up of the core of their territory, a partial map found among artifacts indicates that the First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse. Okay. Precursors event chain kind of thing. Probably something that we'll, we won't get done until like the end of the game, but it is cool to know. Alright, we've gotten our first anomaly thing. I'm happy to queue up a bunch of survey systems at this point. And we'll just kind of survey the general area around us at first, and then move on away from our system after that. But I would like to know what's in my immediate vicinity for now. We'll queue all this up. No? Can't tell it to survey? I guess the, the queue's too long. But um, we'll, we'll queue all these, like, immediately 
adjacent systems. And then we'll have to do something about this. Tropical world. That's not too bad, honestly. And their ocean. So yeah, their planets are actually a good fit for us. They're planets that we probably want to take. There's a lot of ocean worlds near me. Just in general. We are making energy credits, so let's go ahead and build the mining stations here. I would like to increase my borders sometime soon, but... I think we're probably going to have to do that in the next episode because we're getting past 30 minutes at this point. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys are very excited. I want to restore the Galactic Empire to its former glory, and I plan on doing that. So again, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one.